Hi, we're Terry and Susan Wood, and we're in Icy Strait, Alaska right now. Normally, we don't do product reviews, but since we're going to start today, we thought we'd really go over the top and try something big. And being a boat person, I'd love to review a boat anytime I get a chance. We're going a little bigger today. I found the perfect boat, one that has all the coolers, the drink holders, the headroom you need. It might cost a little bit more money, but you know what? You can get on it, too. And we're going to show you how. Let's introduce you to today's product review, the Norwegian Pearl. Now, if you plan on putting it on a trailer and towing it up Parley's Canyon or over Daniel's Summit to Strawberry, Remember, it weighs 93,000 tons. You're gonna have to have a pretty big diesel engine to pull it up over that. And then once you get it there to Strawberry, well, you'll have a hard time finding a slip because it's 965 feet long. I wonder what they charge for that length. It draws 27 feet, so you're not gonna be able to pull up onto a Lake Powell Beach anytime soon. It'll cruise at about 25 knots, that's reasonable, and you can have a few friends along. On most boats you'll find that there's not much wiggle room. In fact, things can be kind of cramped sometimes. <laughs> but on this boat, there are more rooms than you probably have friends. So you can invite the hemisphere along. There's plenty of space to walk around. Of course, you can find every kind of room imaginable, from your regular stateroom for someone who may be on a budget, to the very plush, opulent room, including your very own steam room, your very own hot tub, and a grand piano, in case you feel like tickling the ivories. All right, we've taken a look at the exterior. Now let's see the interior. Well, you know, sometimes you have to fix yourself a little lunch on your boat. Yeah, well, on this ship, you got folks fixing lunch for you, and breakfast, and dinner, and midnight snack. That's my kind of crew. You know, one thing I like on a boat is having a lot of cooler space, but there never seems to be enough. Yeah, you go down to Lake Powell and your vegetables and stuff are all dried out and shriveled after a day or two. But look at this room. This, this is cooler, cooler space. space. So when you head out on your boat, normally you have three coolers, you know, one for the food, one for the fish you might catch, and then another one that you put a couple of Cokes, maybe a couple of six packs in. Well, no problem here. This is just the beer cooler right here, the wine cooler, if that's your preference, right here, the other accoutrements you might need for a fine beverage. There's a nice Oregon Pinot Noir. Nobody's looking. Now, since packing your dirty laundry in a trash bag, on this ship there are eight extra large washing machines. And never fold laundry again. Of course, it is a little expensive to pick up a boat like this. Yeah, about a billion dollars. Well, that's brand new. Oh, yeah. You can probably get a used one for 500 million. There you I, go. I don't know if Corey Toon has one on his lot over at Executive Boats or not, but you can always check. 500 million. You know, probably the easiest way to enjoy a ship like this is to join us for the At Your Leisure Cruise in Alaska coming up in June. This is Terry and Susan Wood with this week's product review.